Hey everyone, it's Christina Garcia. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if it is your first time. Um, this video is going to close out 2023 and I'm going to be sharing my current um, top 10 Bath Body Works fragrance mists. Um, my collection has about 40-ish um, different scents, so I really took the time to sit here and go through. As you can see, I have a variety. A lot of these are scents that I, I do enjoy, but when it came to picking a top 10, I really wanted to be mindful of what scents um, really are ones that I grab. There will be sorry guys. Um, scents that I grab and use often, not just like, oh, it's there, I'll use it occasionally. Um, so going into 2024, I am probably going to do a project use it up um, with a lot of scents that I'm not really reaching for. And then um, saving the ones that I really like that I know I'm not able to repurchase. Um, and I'm going to give you a quick little backstory on a couple of the scents and sharing some notes so let me know if you guys like any of the items in my top 10 and if you have any recommendations um, of scents to look for in 2024 so jumping right into it the first one is an oldie but a goodie i had to search hard to find this in the fine fragrance mist it is pink chiffon this one I used to go crazy over and I'm looking at this bottle and it honestly doesn't even have the notes. Um, so it is an older scent, but I did find it for a really good deal. So this one is just a really good, I don't even know how to describe this scent. Just a like yummy, clean, pretty, good scent. I don't know. There's no, no way to describe it, but a good scent. Um, I really like this one, so this one will always stay in my top 10. So definitely, if you don't have this one and you get access to it, check it out. So starting off with that one, another one that is like a pretty fresh, clean, everyday scent. These are the notes real quick. Let's see if I can get the notes. Fresh Morning Dew, Wild Poppies, Sugared Rhubarb, and Juicy Pear. Love Poppy. I do hear that it's being discontinued if it's not already. Um, but this one, if you are able to grab another one, definitely get your hands on. Really pretty. Number three, and these are not in any specific order of like reading number one the best, ten the worst, um, vice versa. Just top ten out of my current collection. Firecracker Prop. I love just the star detail on the cap. I love the bottle. Um, this is a really good one. In the summer, Red Cherry, Fresh Citrus, and Juicy Berry. Definitely love this one. Um, I did try to get it in a couple different forms. Shower gel, lotion, spray. I do want to get the candles and the um, hand sanitizer and any other forms of the scent love this one this is a good one i'm not usually a berry person per se so i was kind of like sleeping on this scent but once i give it a go love this one definitely my one of my summer scents number four is coco paradise this one i slept on for a very long time not proud to admit that but this one is just a really good scent i love anything coconut um, I think this one is really pretty. This one is definitely good for summer and vacations, but I, I honestly think I could use coconut year round. So Coco Paradise, recommend that one. Next we have number five, and this one is Cotton Candy Clouds. Sucker for anything cotton candy. So I honestly didn't even smell it. I grabbed it just from the title and I did end up loving it. So it's not a hundred percent like true cotton candy vibes. Um, looking at the notes i do pick up the berries a little more than anything but another one i will use definitely in the summer and also year-round keeping in with that collection i am obsessed with whipped coconut milkshake and if you guys can kind of see like 
it doesn't really look like I sprayed these too much. It's because these are ones that I don't have multiples of and I'm kind of savoring them and holding on to, which it's kind of ridiculous because it's like going in 2024, I'm really trying to be mindful and using the products I love, using the products I have, not just buying just to buy. Um, this one, if I can get another one, I am going to grab another one. Love this one, Whips Coconut Milkshake. This is just a yummy, delicious, really good scent. Um, 10 out of 10, probably 11 out of 10, to be honest. Moving on, another really pretty, clean, fresh scent, um, Butterfly. This one I was obsessed with, and I do believe I have, like, so many different forms of the scent also. Really pretty, love this one. Butterfly is a good one. If you can grab it, definitely give that one a go. And moving on, we are at number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gingham Gorgeous. Um, this one is really pretty packaging, so pretty, um, fresh, airy, just a romantic scent. I feel like this one is good, like Valentine's Day, date night. Um, summer, spring. I feel like this one you can use this one year round, um, but just a really pretty one. Definitely recommend this one. I did have it in the single wick candle form and unfortunately it broke before I got to use it. So I am going to see if I can grab this one again in a candle. Love this one. Beautiful. Highly recommend. The next one, number nine, is Iced Lemon Pound Cake. If you don't have Iced Lemon Pound Cake and you like the gourmands, like the yummy scents, um, you need like 20 of these in your collection. This one here, I did purchase for myself. I do also believe my mom and my son both also have it. It's a really good one. Sugary Glazed Icing, Pure Lemon Zest, and Fluffy Pound Cake. If I could eat this scent, I would. Um, there's nothing really else to say, but you need this in your collection, get it, love it, and enjoy it. Ice lemon pound cake. That one, if I were doing a top three, that one definitely be in my top three. Then, the final one is blueberry sugar pancakes, and this one, I never, when it first came out, I never was able to smell it and try it, um, I wish I seen it like in a body care sale when it first came out because I, I would have racked up on this one. Um, sugared blueberries, fresh pancakes, camel cream drizzle. This one is like a 20 out of 10 for me and I'm not a blueberry person but whatever the combination is that they put in this bottle like send me 5,000 of these and I'm going to use all 5,000 of them because this one let me know if you guys have smelled this one let me know what you think of this one. This one for me is 100 out of 10. Um, I'm looking at my collection here, the top 10 that I picked, and I I never realized how much of a Gourmandi scent um, fan I was, but I'm looking here, and majority of these scents, I do notice, um, have some scent of like a fruit or a food touch to them. So it's interesting seeing like how my... My scents are changing as time goes on. My collection is changing. Um, it's just fun to see the growth and the collection grow and my taste change. So let me know what you guys think of my collection. Top 10. Do you have any of them? Have you wondered about any of them? If you want any notes on any of the other scents um, that I have in my collection, I would be happy to share. I'm going to see if I can do another little video sharing my collection. I'm probably going to break it up into two parts. Um, and let me know what other videos you guys are hoping to see in the new year. So, happy new year, everyone. Happy fragrance shopping, sharing, collecting, all those good vibes. And I will see you guys in the next one.